Welcome to another video from Gue Lao 60. We're here on the Vietnamese border on the Guangxi, the Chinese side of the Vietnamese border. And you can see behind me that there's um, signs and, er and everything. It's in Chinese and in Vietnamese. That's because we're at Friendship Pass and my car just went in and left me on the outside. Let's see if I could just walk through uh, or if they stop me and say, hey Gue Lao, you gotta pay twice. They, maybe they didn't pay my way. Anyway, this is a, a pass between Vietnam and China. So it's sort of like a natural border type of thing. Uh, it's been here for thousands of years and probably be here for thousands of years more. It's one of those things. So the guy at the thing there just about didn't let me through. So you can't go through. The only he did it in this sort of way. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, it's, uh, oh yeah, I gotta put up with this shit. So uh, we're, we're gonna get in the car now and we're gonna go up to Friendship Pass. So here we are at Friendship Pass, right on the, the, the Guangxi, province of Guangxi and the, and the Vietnamese border. This has been the border crossing for like a thousand years and, it, and it's still a valid border crossing. It's the cheapest way to get from Nanang to Hanoi. What you do is you take a bus from Nanang, it takes a couple hours, and they bring you here, then you go across the border crossing and you grab a bus on the other side of Vietnam and off, off you go to Hanoi. But you see, this has been here, this has been a border crossing for literally a thousand years. This is weird because the stuff in Asia here has been around for a long time. You get into the, the West where Canada, not even 200 years, the States, a couple hundred years, and they think they have culture, they think they have history, but they don't because this is where the history is. This is this is an amazing place. And look at, I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk over here and then you're gonna see, I'm gonna turn around and you're gonna see the Karst Mountains behind me. Like, look at the beauty and the palm trees and the green and everything. Like, it's it's really hot here, It's but it's beautiful. It's, you know, the countryside is something like you've never seen before. When you come to a place like Guangxi province, you're going to find nothing but beauty and pretty and and uh, all of that and uh, and you're gonna see history. Now look at this, look at this, like this, uh, this is like serious history here guys. If you're a history buff, if you like uh, wilderness, if you like like any any history at all, Guangxi province on the border with Vietnam is the place to be. So now I'm on the other side of the ancient Friendship Pass uh, thing, I guess the, the, the border as it used to be back in the day type thing. And uh, I look over to my right here and what do I see? I see the actual border crossing between Vietnam and China. Yeah, we're right, we're right on the cusp of it here. And it's one of those things that, uh, you know, with the history of Vietnam, with the, the, the Vietnam War, a lot of people were really interested in that country at that time, not so much in China. Uh, then then after the, the Vietnam War, uh, Vietnam actually went into, I think it was Cambodia. Actually, I was, I'm, I'm sure it was Cambodia. And uh, the Chinese said, oh, you can't do that. And uh, this is basically where the, the little skirmish between China and Vietnam took place. Uh, people come across the border in this area. Well, and in another of other areas also. But the, the, idea, the idea was that in Nanang, China, where my wife grew up, when she grew up, when she was a little kid, uh, there was sort of a little uh, mini war between these two countries and uh, I guess it was pretty serious back then. This is, this is the border where it all happened. And you look at the Karst Mountains, you look at, uh, you look at the greenery, you look at all the beauty now. Now Vietnam and China are friends, why? Because they are. Uh, they've got uh, economic ties, they've got uh, border ties, they've got, you know, they, they, they've got something in common because they live in the same part of the world. It's, it's one of those things that, you know, love thy neighbor. And uh, now that China is uh, the rising star of the East, other countries want to be its friend, yes. And uh, Vietnam is no different. Uh, just for the fact that money talks, you know what I mean? 
uh, strength in numbers, uh, strength in economy, strength in military, strength in a lot of different things. And you see that here in the East, just like you do in the West, only it's done differently because in the East, uh, China's not trying to invade, take over any of those things, not, not like the Western countries do. Here, it's a sort of a peaceful a cooperation between countries. It's weird, eh? What a beautiful place. Guangxi Province. I love this place. Everywhere I go in Guangxi Province, I see things I've never seen before. I see, I see beauty. I see uh, wilderness. Oh, and one of the one of the things I'd really like to talk about is there the, the lack of pollution here. You know what I mean? Like uh, everybody says, China's a this polluted cesspool. Guangxi Province is a green province. Guangxi Province doesn't have a lot of uh, industry. Sure, in the cities there's some pollution, but. If you knew Guangxi province like I do, you know that most of it is rural areas where there is basically no pollution, zero, that's it. It's, it's as clean as Canada, it's as clean as anywhere else. Uh, and, you know, look behind me, there's, there's no lack of greenery. As I'm walking closer and closer to the border, uh, you know, I notice things that that uh, you wouldn't really see in in the West, it's, and it's and it's entertaining to me. Uh, you see, on the top of the hill there, they've got a sort of a military building, and it's uh, camouflaged green. So I don't know if you'd actually see that if you're flying over it. Maybe it's a, a drawback to yesteryear uh, because now I think uh, they can basically see anything anywhere at any time via satellite and stuff like that. And all of the vehicles that, that uh, are tripping into Vietnam have to be checked. Or coming out of Vietnam and going into China have to be checked. So uh, you've got backups on the roads and stuff. So here, I'm on my way over there. You know I am. It's Gui Lao style. Getting out of the city of Nanning for a little bit is being good for the soul. Look at the beauty. Look at the beauty of the background here. Like seriously guys, like if you want to come to a place where you see wilderness and you see farms, you see water buffalo, you see uh, beautiful trees, the fruits, uh, the, the people, the, you know, just <laughs> awestruck with, with all of this stuff. Uh, Guangxi Province is a place to be. Damn, I'm lucky to find Wei Fong, a uh, girl from Nanang. Wonder what they got going on here. Oh my goodness. Wonder if I should be taping this. Boy sitting on the ground, probably arrested for something. There's lots of police there. Um, I'm thinking that it's on the Chinese side because there's Chinese flags. They haven't made it over yet. So uh, they've got people in hazmat suits. I would imagine it's people that are not COVID cleared yet. They, 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 they're coming together here rather than going apart. It's, uh, it's one of those things that they're, they're getting better, uh, better friends being economic friends, being uh, military friends, being just, just good neighbors to each other. Sometimes uh, things go a little awry as you can probably see over 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 my left shoulder here because the the police have people detained but uh, it's probably for uh, either they are illegal immigrants coming into China they got caught uh, they don't have their COVID testing done so they're not going anywhere until they do maybe they're going into quarantine like Guelo had to when he crawled into China here about two months ago who knows but uh, I'm not going over there and I'm not going to go ask them. Uh, they seem to be walking them towards the Vietnam border. So I would imagine that they're probably sending their asses home. <laughs> and that happens, you know, in any country when uh, people aren't supposed to be there. Well, they boot them to the curb, eh? So these guys are illegal immigrants. You see, China has illegal immigrants also because China is a better place to be than Vietnam. You know, a lot of people think, oh, Vietnam is all that and more. No, no, no. China is all that and more. So these poor suckers tried to get across the border illegally. They got, they got detained. 
and now they're being sent back across the border and that's just the way it is. Gotta love it. Sort of like what we do to the Americans when they try to cross our border. They want to be snow Mexicans just like us. No, no, no. They have to go down and be real Mexicans down on the Arizona uh, Sonora County border because we don't we don't want them up north because they ain't got no they ain't got no snow sombreros, man. One thing I'd like to add to this uh, video is that uh, we are on the Vietnamese uh, Chinese border. They are arresting people at the Vietnamese Chinese border and they are sending them back to Vietnam. And we're, we're, we're videotaping it as they're doing it. And they don't try to stop us. They know, well, they know I'm a foreigner type thing. Uh, we could be uh, Western media. Who freaking knows? But you know what? Uh, all of these people that think that uh, China censors, China is secretive. China doesn't want you to know what's going on. It's it's all bullshit, guys. They they could give a rat's ass whether you're you're videotaping them doing what they do because they're just not doing anything wrong. What they're doing is they're doing what any other country would be doing, uh, taking care of their business, protecting their citizens, doing what they think is right in their country, and uh, and that's exactly what we saw here today. Go figure. Eh? So it turns out the Friendship Pass, as it says on this board right here, uh, was initially built in the Han Dynasty and has a history of more than 2,000 years. So this this puppy, 2,000 years old, uh, probably been redone a couple of times, but like, okay, 2,000 years old. Wah. I'd read it all, but it'd take me like 10 minutes and I'm just not going to do that. But let's go to the top and see what goes on up there. See, although I don't believe this part is 2,000 years old, this side could be. You know what I mean? It's, it's, not, it's, ne it's not always been like this here. It has been like this in the, in the past. So, you know, there's, there's passes through from Vietnam to China. And uh, there was not a whole bunch of paved roads back then. So 2,000 years ago, this is what you're looking at, guys. Up and down mountains, stairs, probably paths a lot of times. But uh, it's cool, eh? Like, seriously, the border between Vietnam and China. And they've turned it into a museum here inside. Also, this is... Uh, oh. Ho Chi Minh, hey? Everybody knows him and his weird beard. <laughs> you know what I mean? And uh, who's the other guy we found? Zhou An Lai. Zhou Lai? Zhou An Lai. Zhou An Lai. Chairman Mao's right hand man. Yeah. Okay, cool. So. Uh, they met here once. They met here once. They met here, they met here once. Uh, Cool, eh? It's a, so there, there's history right where we're standing today. Cool, eh? So the little skirmish between Vietnam and, and China in 1979. Uh, you see, you see things like this here in the wall. These are these are bullet holes. Bullet holes. Check this one out. Oh, for sure a bullet hole. Oh my goodness. Hey, so there was hostilities here on the border between these two countries back 79, 89, 99, 2009, 2019. It's 41 years ago, guys, and. Uh, you can see it up all over the wall, the roof, and stuff like this, bullet holes. And you see them up there more than you see them down here because uh, they're probably shooting uphill, I would imagine. Makes sense to me. So basically you can see that uh, every country has history. Some have longer history than others and uh, China is one of the places that has the longest history in the world. Written and uh, all of that other stuff. Boy, so they are, right? they're noisy. But, uh, you know, just think about it. This border crossing has been here for 2,000 years. My God.
and in such a beautiful place too. You know, if you if you look at it, you know the French colonial style building. Yeah, those French were here, uh, and as I say, see, and up on the on the side of the mountain, it's all uh, village land where where people live and uh, and thrive. Yeah. Cool. You want to live on a mountain? Move to Guangxi Province. I always do an ending for every video that I that I've ever made. But when I was at Fr the Friendship Pass on the Vietnamese border, I forgot to do an ending. So I figured I'd do it in my backyard. Uh, and it's sort of a good thing that I did forget because when I got back, I was watching a video that I think Jamaica Funk. Uh, made and it's how to draw Gui Lao 60. So uh, I'm gonna plug this guy. I don't know what his political affiliation is or anything but the guy can draw. I think he made my eyes a little small. It sort of looks like a, a one of the Rolling Stones cartoons type thing but I think it's great. So uh, in the description below I'm gonna put a link to his to the video and I think it's a great thing. Uh, like, comment, subscribe on that video for sure because the guy is obviously talented. Anyway that's another video from Gui Lao 60 not from friendship past but from nanning again uh, but the video is about friendship past if you like this video as always like comment subscribe push that share button uh, hit the bell resubscribe thanks for watching and never forget to put a couple bucks on the children's patreon account it's for a good cause bye now